Jenny Fit Falcon. It's got a 24 by 24 by quarter inch thick firebox on it, round obviously. And this thing had zero paint on it. This is one of my rental pits. Had zero paint on it. And all I did was fire it up about an hour and a half ago. And of course it looked it looked rusted and all that, right? It had the color rust on it, surface rust, and all I did was fire it up and squirt cooking oil on it. Um, which is why you see it smoking. That's that cooking oil bacon onto it, and which is why it's turning black, right? This thing was completely zero paint, surface rust on it, and I have been burning it extremely hot. I mean, I was running 400 degrees in this cooker uh, earlier, and I'm now letting it calm down a little bit, but I've sprayed it probably four times with cooking oil. Um, there it is right there. And, but this pit is several years old. Again, it's my rental. Repainted once two or three years ago, it hasn't been repainted since. And I'm just showing you this because all I did was I got cooking oil on it, that's all it is. I'm letting that cooking oil bake on it, so it looks like it's painted, right? Looks pretty darn good, right? It's just cooking oil, that's all it is. And the firebox, who saw it? I wish I would have taken a, a picture or a video of the firebox before I did the cooking oil, but I just haven't thought about doing the video. This thing was completely like red from surface rust. Copper color, brass color. Uh, and now it's all black. Looks like it's painted. But there is zero paint on that. Dump some BNB uh, lump in there, along with some oak split logs. And got this sucker blazing hot, man. I mean, this thing was running, you can still see it now, it's running almost 350 now. But I was running over 450 degrees earlier. And now I'm letting it cool down because I want to tune it because the people that rented it had taken my tuning plates out because they used it to grill in the main chamber. So they took the tuning plates out. So now I'm trying to retune it because I'm actually going to be using this this weekend. So I want it to run even. Uh, these gauges are running pretty even as you can tell. See here now it's 275 and it's about 280 right there. I've got to get this one down, but the only way that's going to get down is if I let that power box cool down a little bit and let this thing get to normal temperature but uh, I'll have these things running dead on even by the end of the day without a doubt uh, but yeah it's a good looking pit man for a several year old rental and people use it to abuse the hell out of it like they do rental cars uh, but it's a beautiful pit still as you can see great shape uh, it's all repainted once in the years I've had it it's several years old now and all I did was put some cooking oil on it today it's cooking oil I'm gonna let that uh, Again, well, that's why I got it so hot, so I want that little bake on it. Uh, but my main thing that I wanted to do is just oil my firebox down as opposed to repainting it. And if you do this, every time you fry these things up and just put some cooking oil on there, don't worry about touching your paint up, man. Just keep putting cooking on there and let that stuff bake on there. And your firebox looks like this. You know, so forget the paint for those that, that you know, don't want to keep touching it up, because you're going to keep touching your fireboxes up. This paint does come off of your firebox. Here you just start cooking it on when you fire it up. Anyway, I'm out of here. Rich Robin, see ya. All right, just came back out. I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes after that last little video clip I shot showing you smoking and the oil and all that. I did adjust the plates. Like I said, I'm working on tuning this thing because I'm going to use it this weekend. And now I've got, I made an adjustment on the tuning place. So now my gauges as this pit's cooling down a little bit, because again, I was running over 450 degrees earlier uh, to bake this oil on. And now you see the pit, the firebox is cooling down now to what would be a normal fire for cooking that my gauges are now coming down and they're starting to, to even out now as you see that, right? You're running 275 here, you're 300 here, and you're about 325 here. Let this thing cool down more, because again, I had this over 450 degrees earlier. As this thing starts to cool down, those gauges are going to start evening back, evening out. And if I need to adjust it uh, uh, here in about an hour or so, I'll adjust the plates again until I get this thing running spot on dead even all the way across, which I know I can do because I've got videos of this. If I go back and look at some older videos of this exact pit, you'll see where I had it tuned uh, previously and it was running dead even all the way across. 
and there's a couple videos of that actually. So I'm gonna keep playing with it here uh, while I'm at work and come out here every now and then and check it. And I'll try to remember to shoot a little video for you guys to see how it's cooling down with the firebox. Uh, I'll open it up and show you what I got in here. I just put a big, big fat log in there, split, as you can see there, it's just a big chunk. Uh, but that's all I've got going. Before that, it was just those little burnt logs. There was two of those little logs in there that were burnt down that were running me over 400 degrees. Uh, it doesn't take much of these gator pits to get a, to get a hot fire going. And then, of course, it, it lasts, right? I'm waiting on this thing to cool down. I mean, it's it, it's putting some heat out just right here where I'm standing it's hot. But anyway, that's what that's what these big old offsets do. Uh, they're thick steel, and they, they're efficient. You notice there's no smoke leaking out of it. You might be able to see a little smoke coming out with the black session trail in the background. I don't know. Uh, but that's what you want to burn, man. You want a good clean burning fire, good clean burning smoke. Even if I didn't see any smoke, that'd be even, to me, that'd be even better. I got that big fat old shorty in there that I put in there, and that's why it's smoking. Uh, anyway, I gotta go pick up some pallets, guys. See y'all. All right, guys, I've been gone now probably ooh, an hour and a half, two hours. It's been a while, longer than I thought. I might have had to go pick up some trailer parts as well after I got those pallets. So I just drove up and here I am looking at the pit. Remember the previous clip or video we were running? I don't remember now. But now it's 200 on the stack side. Uh, I don't know, 205, 210 on the middle door. And 205, 210 on the firebox side. So overall we're running 205 on all three chambers on this six foot uh, long chamber, two foot deep. That's 24 by 72. This is the Falcon, by the way. And I've got my gauges, got it pretty much tuned. I got tuned enough, enough for me to cook on it this weekend. So I'm gonna lock my tuning plates down and leave it alone. I'm not gonna mess with it, it's good enough. Uh, I can cook anything I want in this pit uh, and be comfortable that it's all pretty much running the same cooking temperature inside uh, on, my, on my chamber. And uh, no leaks, look at the firebox. Looking good on the firebox, that baked on grease. Looking good, and no de no leaks out the doors. And look at the stack, burning nice and clean. Put the black background behind it, burning nice and clean. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, guys. I'm gonna throw another log in here. Actually, I'm gonna throw two logs in there and let it burn itself out after work, and uh, clean it out tomorrow. And I'll be ready for Saturday's cooking. Rich Robin, see you guys.